here's what I like for you all to think about this week. Whether you're a sales leader or you're a sales professional, are you a collector of people and a builder of community? Let's think about this for a moment. That's together. Let's think about that statement. Now what I'd like for you to do is think about your clients. Again, whether you're a sales leader or a sales professional, how effective have you been in building a sense of community with your clients? And I really want us to think about that this week. I recently read a great book. It's Lead Like Walt. The subtitle is Discovering Walt Disney's Magical Approach to Building Successful Organizations. And there's a section in the book that referenced that Walt knew his people well. And for a moment, I want us to all follow along. I'm just going to read a little paragraph out of Lead Like Walt. Check this one out. Walt was constantly walking around, engaging in casual conversations and getting to know his people as individuals. What are their goals, their passions, their hobbies? What books do they read? You see, by showing an interest in his people, Walt soon learned this, that his people had ideas, they had interests, and they had hidden talents. So here's a few questions I'd like for us to think about. What are you collecting? What are you collecting about your clients? And what do you know? And I'm going to I just add in another word to this. What do you truly know about your clients? And we all know where trust and credibility sits in the world today. It's really low. And you all should be concerned with it. I'm a big believer in this. Double down. Double down on building client communities. And it's going to aid in how you build trust. Think about this. How are you all building trust? I believe this. Building communities. Building a place where your clients could come together. Now, this could be face-to-face, and obviously, we live in this virtual world today. It could easily be done where you could bridge your clients together. This is going to foster trust building. See, bringing your clients together. Now, I'm going to challenge you all on this. I'm going to challenge sales leaders out there and sales professionals out there. This is going to require some work. But really, bringing your clients together to engage is gonna allow them to interact with you, your team, and your company with the goal of providing input and feedback, which opens up the trust building door. But in order to build these trust building, right? In order to build these trusting communities, there's three things that you're gonna have to be willing to do. Grab a sheet of paper, write these down really quick. In order to do this, you're gonna have to engage in meaningful conversation, You're going to have to be massively, and I mean massively transparent. Here's the kicker. You're going to have to do what you say you will do. Never waver from it. Never, ever waver from it. See, trust enables you and your salespeople to work with your clients more effectively. Because in the long run, building client community is going to create long-term sales sustainability. Let's just think about that for a moment. So as I I bridge our time together, here's what I'd like for us to focus in on. And I want us, let's just think together for a moment on this. What would it be like? Now I'm putting this right back on sales leaders and sales professionals. What would it be like if you became the connector, the relational bridge builder with your clients and figured out a way to connect all of them together that in turn brings real value. Here's what I want us to think about. What could possibly happen? What would this mean to you? And what impact could this have to your sales sustainability? Think about that. What could this mean to your sales sustainability? So what I'd like for us to think about as we bring our time together is how would you define your client communities. You're the center of your client communities. In fact, I'm going to give you all a title. You're the mayor. You are the mayor of your community. How well are you bringing people together to foster camaraderie 
in a foster fellowship. It's going to require some work. It's not going to be easy. We got to remove the short-term vision because short-term vision around this is going to stunt your long-term sales growth. You all live in communities. Why not create that with your clients? That's what I'd like for you all to think about this week. Again, I sincerely appreciate each and every one of you. See, together we're building this movement. We're building this movement around sincerity, business substance. Here at Selling from the Heart, we call it giving a rip. It's giving a rip about yourself, your clients, your community, your future clients, your career, your employer. Double down on that. Because your clients and your future clients would rather connect and do business with a sales professional who sells from the heart as opposed to a sales rep who is an empty suit. Have an amazing week.